What's up guys, this is Dante Lewis with Finesse Inferno Basketball Training and today we're going to teach you how to be a more dominant defender at the rim. I have my uh, partner Walter and he's going to help me out demonstrating how to properly bump a defender off balance so you can score at the rim. So when we get to here, we want to think about going low to high. When I get to here, I want to have a wide base, I want to have a wide stance and I want to bump on or right after the dribble. So if I'm here and I go, if I take my dribble, I want to drop my body and get even lower. If I get lower, I have more leverage to create the contact and to get my defender off balance. So once I dribble, I'm going to hit and get low. Once I get low, I'm going to move this shoulder up into the chest of the defender. So it get, creates the momentum of the defender going back and up and not going this way so he can either stay on top of me or still stay on my body. So if I go, I'm going to think about here creating the contact and then my shoulder goes up through contact the second part of it is when I go I want to go from low to high and once I go low to high I want to land back onto two feet so if I'm here I go I'm gonna take my dribble I'm gonna go low I create the contact and go back high and then I jump on two feet create the contact so I have more space and separation to score so once again I'm gonna show you a little bit more full speed and we create the contact we bump cool we go low to high we score and now we're more on balance when we get to the rim so once we've mastered bumping our defender, we have to learn how to get different ways to throw the timing of the shot blocker at the rim to get easier layups at the basket. So when I'm going to the rim, we call it a same foot, same hand layup after we create the bump. So it's bump, same foot, same hand. And when I'm attacking the rim, I want to create leverage to keep my forearm high. And as I'm going, I'm going to create a bump, still low to high. After I go low to high, I'm not going to take my one, two, or outside, inside. I'm just going to take my step with my outside foot and fully extend to the rim. If I do not do this and I keep going and I just do a regular same foot, same hand layup, he's still going to have the time to get to my shot as I go. So I want to bump, create the contact. Before he has the opportunity to jump and block me, I want to jump immediately off the ground and extend to the rim. So when I'm here, I'm going to go bump, then I finish, and then I'm extending to the basket to make that layup easily. So to be a dominant defender, you have to work on bumping out of different moves. So the next move we're going to teach right now is called a bump stride. And you're going to stride into one, two step. So what I mean is when we are walk, go into the basket and Walt is on my hip and shoulder, I'm going to keep this offhand pin and high. And I'm going to stay connected to him with my shoulder. As I go and I create this bump in contact and I'm here, I'm going to land on a one, two step. So I'm going to land left, then I'm going to land right. If it's on the opposite side or right left. Another term that's called outside inside. So if I'm here, I'm going to go one, two, and then make the contact and finish at the rim. So once again, I'm going to show again, I'm going to bump, then I'm going to stride on two, and I'm going to go left, right, and I'm here, and then I'm scoring at the basket on two feet so I can create that leverage, create that space, and the balance to still score at the rim if a defender's still on me. Okay, so another move we're going to teach you how to do is called a bump spin. And when we bump spin, we're going to create contact and leverage with our defender. And once we create a contact and leverage with our defender, we're going to bump our defender and pocket our dribble back. Once we pocket our dribble back, that's going to give us the leverage to spin off of our defender and get to the basket and rim. Another reason why, if you're going to see it, when you go to the basket, you're going to see your defender start to shuffle and get back in front of you. Once he's gotten in line with you, you create the bump and leverage, and then I pocket and move my right foot back, and I'm pivoting it to the rim and scoring. So once again, I'm going to show again, we're going to get you here. I'm going to bump, I'm going to pocket my dribble, I'm going to drop step into the shot and make the layup from there. This is Finesse Inferno, and these are some of the ways that you can dominate your defender at the rim. If you like this content, you should like, share, and subscribe. We post videos every Wednesday. See you later.